Welcome back to the Love Vegan Kitchen and this week we're going to be making a recreation of Wagamama's vegan barbecue ribs. Um, so I went to Wagamama's the other day, I was traveling and I was hungry, please don't judge me. And we ordered the um, some pho and the vegan barbecue ribs as a side. And you know when you're out and you try something and you're trying to like how to re recreate something? One bite and I knew exactly what this was and how to make it. So um, I'm going to teach you how to make this for £1.50 instead of £7.50 at Wagamama's. And we're simply going to use some Vivera plant steaks and some classic barbecue sauce. I guarantee you that is all you're going to need. So we're going to jump straight over to the hob and get cooking. So we're just going to add a little oil to our pan and then we're going to fry our plant steaks for nine minutes. So put them on a, a medium to low heat and then just make sure you keep turning them regularly uh, just to stop them from burning and make sure they get heated all the way through. So once your ribs are, are uh, your ribs, sorry, once your steaks are cooked, I'm just gonna take them off the pan for a minute and cut them into some slices. So let's just transport them over to the cutting board. And we're just gonna cut them into about five or so slices on each one. Ignoring the edges. I'm just going to take the ends off and I'm just going to use the middle pieces. There we go. So once you've cut your ribs into strips, you'll just want to pop them back into the pan. I'm using six strips cut from the middle of the steak here. Um, you can use the edge pieces if you want, but to make it look a bit more like it comes out like a mama's, I'm just gonna use these six pieces. You can obviously make one stack out of one rib. So with your ribs returned to the pan, we're just gonna add in one teaspoon of classic barbecue sauce. Um, you're going to need about three teaspoons, but I'm just going to do one at a time and just add it to the ribs and just, just toss them in the heat. So once the um, sauce gets a little sticky and it's stuck to the ribs, then you just want to add your second teaspoon of barbecue sauce. And you just want to do this three times, just put the sauce into the ribs and make sure the heat just reduces it down, makes it nice and sticky and just coats the ribs. There we go, third one. 
and as soon as this one is reduced down onto the ribs, we will be ready to serve. Whoops. There we go. Okay, there we go. Looks like our ribs are ready. Thoroughly coated in barbecue sauce. They look absolutely delicious. We're just going to transfer them to a plate and then we're going to go back to the bench. So with our ribs ready, it's just time to serve them up. So I'm just going to do two at a time on the plate. There we go, so that's how they come at Wagamama's. You get about six barbecue ribs. I'm just gonna, for presentation's sake, add a bit of spring onion and a pinch of sesame seeds. And there you go, you've just recreated Wagamama's vegan barbecue ribs for about two pounds. Cooked easily, 10 minutes in your own home. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Do let us know if you've tried it. Um, I guess I guess so. Someone to try it. So you've had um, Welcome Mama's barbecue ribs before. Yeah. You know how they taste. So yeah. do you want to? Um, this one look actually look better. <laughs> Thank you. And, look more and it better. comes out faster than if you order a Welcome Mama. Welcome Mama's are getting real bashing in this this video. Sorry, Welcome Mama's. We do like your food. We do better. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go on then, go for it. Try them. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is, um, we got Chef to make it today and I tried it before and I think it's better, but today I'll give you're it a go. to try it. You think this is better than at the restaurant? <laughs> I prefer this one and um, it come out quicker as well because when you order in the restaurant, it takes ages to come out. <laughs> I have not tried the one at Wagamama, but uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. It actually tastes the same. I prefer this one. Mmm. <laughs> it's called barbecue ribs. Tastes I'm really meaty. It's quite meaty. Mm. So there you have it. Very easy, sticky barbecue ribs. 10 minutes cooking time, just £2.50. You can easily, I'd say easily make these here at your own home, but someone's, e <laughs> someone's eating them all. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Do try this at home, tag us on Instagram if you do, and we will see you next week for another vegan recipe. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Good to see you on my food.